I'm going to be biased towards my boy, and uh, P9 has it. But we're going Wario today. There is no Mega Man on stage. Wario Villager, definitely interesting matchup. I think that uh, KB2 is definitely more comfortable in this matchup. We don't have any Mega Mans in the Charleston area. The closest one would be Peep Knight, who is uh, like four hours away. Yeah. So I don't know if uh, KB2 has actually played Mega Man against Mega Man this game, but he's definitely played Wario. Yeah, he's played Wario. He's definitely uh, played against uh, our best Wario, Fluzy. Oh my god, Box in the Shield, just let him know. I'm not afraid of you. Uh, he's, he's definitely played Foster. He's played um, Tame and Ice uh, actively, so he has a really good experience, and he knows what he needs to do against Wario. But this is a whole different beast than Wario right here. Yeah, so I think that one thing that Villager has in this matchup is Nair out of shield. Every single time Wario is going to land on top of him, that's going to be a Nair out of shield, Nair out of shield. But uh, once Wario does get the, uh, the, the, the hit, mm -hmm. he's going to take it far. Oh, yeah. He's doing a really great job right here right now. The percents aren't too bad. And at any point in time, Villager definitely can bring it back, but now he's up by 30%, and Wario's looking pretty dominant as an Edgar situation. Nice yeah. little in there to get him off. It looks like he's going to go for the down air, just destroy the balloons right there. So you see uh, Kameme just short hopping, waiting for uh, Villager to choose an option. Yeah. He's short hopping, he's waiting for the, uh, an opportunity to back air or anything like that. Up air maybe if he goes high. Uh, and it was working out. Oh my god. The, the fair into the back air. <laughs> I'm all for it. Kamari taking the first stock, only 79%. Let's see if he can rack up this extra percent credit right here. A little bit late on that on that second up air, I think. So not quite as big a string as he could have gotten. See? Oh, that was just putting the glutes on him. So uh, Villager obviously can't really do much yeah. when, he's, when he's got the up he going. He does get really good height, but he's completely vulnerable. Kamari just realizing it, seeing AI, hey, he's right below me, just going to drop down, waft. I definitely would like to see KB2, he, he needs to do something, man. He needs to go for a little bit more setups. He, he's just getting straight up. Oh, he just gets straight ran on, man. Stock. All right, Brady, maybe not prepared for this Wario pick. He probably thought, I'm going against Mega Man, maybe play against Peep over there. Uh, I'm not too sure uh, what adapt adaptations you can make, just maybe mostly like winning neutral more. Getting off ledge safely and not getting back there like we just did. But it was a three stock. Like, there's so much that you can do that it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly one thing. Oh, yeah. I, uh, KB2 has other characters. Mm -hmm. Right now, this is definitely looking like Villager is not going to do it. it it's, it's, just, it's looking like. After that game, yeah. Yeah, after that, that, that was a very solid three stock. And Kamehameha had everything planned. He had everything scouted. Mm -hmm. Using the vulnerability right there with the grab. Oh, with the parry, he's still going with it. That's 47% right there that that kid can't get back. So I think he realized that, hey, every time you're in disadvantage, you're going to come down with a Nair. Yep. And so if he knows that he's coming down with a Nair, that's just free parries every day. And Wario, Wario he likes to stay in the air. He's going to jump around. He's going to hop around just so you don't know what he's going to do. And he's, he's, he's doing a great job. He's falling down with those Nairs, popping up just a little bit so he can follow with the up air, back air. He's doing a really good job about it. No, KB2 I right now, he looks like he's fishing a little bit. Mm -hmm. no, I saw KB2 uh, following with a reverse neutral B. He kind of... Like, Shifted his momentum to get away from right. Wario. I think that's a pretty good way to get out of disadvantage. Oh, yeah. That forward air, not safe on shield. Just, hit him, smash on the just shield. putting the noggin on him. Yeah, Kamemi's doing a really good job right here. He's just putting the pressure on him. Just, he's, he's staying in his face, not giving him that room to set up like those who wants to do. Right. He's Ooh. doing a really good job too. He's just he's just straight up nairing, like straight nairing pellets. He can't do anything. But yeah. That that's that's really true. <laughs> he's straight up shutting down the entire character. Oh, oh, you know, Brayden uh, KB2 is just looking for those pellets, and if, if he can't get them, then it's not even it's not working out. You know, Kam so Kamehameha's edge guarding is crazy. That mm. put, put it simple, like he was. On the, on the right side, he was sitting there, he had everything scouted, he had the Nair there. He was up tilting to cover the roll. He, there was nothing that KB2 could do to get back on stage, and right there, he catches him with the poop. Yeah, it's he's got to mix up what he does out of uh, when he's in the air above uh, Kamehameha, because even if he doesn't parry everything, up tilt's still going to catch that uh, yeah. Nair. You know, he has so many options just to get rid of it. Kamehameha's doing a really good job also, while I would say, of these bites. Mm -hmm. Like, every, he just sees him shielding, uh, he instantly just walked up and bite him. Like, and, and it's like he knew he was going to shield too. It, it right. wasn't even like he reacted to the shield. I think he walked up with attention. I'm just going to jump up here. I'm just going to munch on you real quick. I know what you're about to do. But KB2 is not looking good for him right now. It's 88% on him. 
that dash attack is definitely, definitely going to be a, a game stealer right there. He's going to have to watch that down tilt dash attack. He keeps getting too close and landing on top of him. He's just letting Kamehameha get those up airs and airs and forward airs, etc. Mm -hmm. You just got to play it more safe, you know, get like stop hitting his shield and getting in a position where he can get hit and counter hit it. Yes, sir. He's Kamehameha's reaction time is also yeah. really good. Like when he was just, he was just shielding on the side as soon as KB2 jumped, instant jump there to right. disrupt it. Like, oh my god, that was terrifying. There's nares, dude. There's nares. You can't be throwing him out and just landing on top of him like that because those are three punishes. That actually made me jump a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Like, Wario isn't the most handsome of guys, but I mean, he's pretty handsome, guys. He's built. I mean, you see them gu you see them guns? No, that's not all fat. That's, there's got some, got oh, some no, muscle that, under there. He's, that, he is muscle. That, that, is, that is 80% man, 20% You know, ladies evil. love the... <laughs> Ladies love facial hair sometimes, you know? Oh, yeah. You got that, that crazy mustache. Oh, yeah. Listen, man. I wish my, I wish my facial hair did that. <laughs> you oh, get yeah. the. the if I could, I would, I would definitely do the. He has the little, the little W's too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're back in game three right now. So hopefully, we can see uh, KB2 adjusting right here. And both, those first two games are just way too dominant, man. Mm. Definitely, his nerves are definitely probably racking it right now. But oh, yeah. hopefully, he doesn't get to him. You know, and nerves, in my experience, help uh, I mean they don't really help when you try to make adaptations yeah any I mean if he's gonna keep making them the same mistakes he might he might just be nervous you know yeah it's I, I just want to see him wall him out a little bit more like he has to he, he can't he can't he's trying to fight the Wario on his terms right but that's the thing you're you're a young boy that's a grown man right <laughs> you can't you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to straight throw hands with Wario man he's just gonna slap put his hands on you and slap you one good time uh, there was one situation where I saw uh, KB2 actually mix up the timing on his nair, so he didn't immediately nair as he was falling. Mm -hmm. He delayed it a little bit, uh, caught and caught Wario while he uh, was dropping shield and got that. And actually got the hit. Oh my God! The tip of his fingernail is just arching over the gyro right there, perfectly taking that stock. 58% only going for the extra credit. These uppers are murdering him right now. Right. He's doing a good job, like, not really a good job, but he's, he's, he's putting the pressure with the bowling balls on the stage right there. But uh, instead of doing double bowling ball, I would have loved to see the bowling ball and then the recover. Or the, the, the roll away to catch something else. Like, instead of just sitting on there and just letting Kamehameha just come back up and, you know. And another thing that Kamehameha is catching on to is every single time KB2 is right above the ledge, he puts out that Lloyd rocket. Yep. And he punishes it for him pretty much every single time. It's looking rough. It's just right now. It's Kevin Sue's just he's just looking to see what he can do right now and hmm, catching him again with that back air. Ninety-one percent on Kamehameha. All right, man, let's you see. gotta take a stock. Yeah, let's see. That's all we need right now for the K2. <laughs> just one okay. stock. <laughs> Good job with the air interrupting. Oh, the jab block. Oh, I think he didn't realize it was gonna jab block. Ooh, hey, there we go. Hey, that's one. All right, we, we got, got we got one, boys. Got and lady boys, everyone. We got the waffle on deck. Yeah. Yep. He forward airs and then just waiting in shield, waiting for him to come right above him. Perfect spot. Ooh. Get an up air. Missed the waff actually. All right. KB2 looking. He got a little momentum going right now. See, so yeah, losing that waff is a big deal. He's not going to get that super early kill that you would have seen otherwise. Uh, so KB2 still has a, he has a better chance of getting a comeback now. The up tilt catching him off from ledge. He was holding on. He was holding on to ledge, and uh, he up tilted and scooped him up. That's wild. The box is crazy, dude. Wario is weird. All right. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Oh, oh tries to get that down smash. Yeah, that he was been definitely. Big. Yeah, he was going for the bowling ball, and that bowling ball definitely is causing some pain. Oh, we got the HR situation, and this is poor villager in this matchup right here. It was what we've been seeing. Kamehameha has just been terrorizing him on the off stage. Mm. And I think in that situation, uh, Brayden, KB2, ooh, yeah, that's just another one of those. He used roll from the ledge, like the one time he did it, and he got saved. Like, he's been, yeah. he pretty much did like the same three ledge get up options where, and you just saw one of them where it was the uh, forward air go and drift in mm -hmm. from the ledge, got a smash out of shield, and that's just the set. Let's see, well, right now, 